With Don't Stop Together's newest release, Sitera's Below, well under our belt, with the help of these two videos here, all that's left is a bit of a Moon vs. Shadow fashion showdown. And while there may only be six in total, something tells me it's going to be a skin clash for the ages. But if you're still unsure of which side to focus on, then don't fret. Bird has got you covered from head to toe. Sort of like how Wigfrid skins are seemingly head and shoulders over the others more often than not, with the Moon Warrior one here being and no exception. Yes, indeed, my Viking friend, take a bow as you are looking fiercely fabulous. Never would I have thought to see these colors on Wigfrid, but I do think she pulled it off and then some. It does really suck that that vibrance doesn't fully translate to in-game, but her new battle helm and spears help even things out, I suppose. But yeah, Clay, it's a little too gray outside of the Curio cabinet, unfortunately. But I think we need to look beyond looks as well, as Wartox, the cloven shadow here, might appear a bit, quote unquote, off, if you see what I see, that is. But his design is a very close callback to his original rendition, and that is just straight fun. The skin is very devilish itself, though, and I can absolutely get behind the Krampus connection here. So score one for Team Shadows as well. Now, if only Wartox's souls also changed colors with his various skins, am I right? Well, let us fly back up to the moon for a moment, as the Lunar Overseer would love a word with us. And no, that is not me naming Winona's new get up there. Them be Clay's own words. It is an amazing appearance for her that apparently comes with a potentially huge role if we are meant to read into it all a little more, as it seems like sisters may be about to clash in the near future head-to-head, -head, everyone. For now, though, Tunnel Snakes rule. And what the heck does that have anything to do with Warley, the shady servant here? Nothing. Nothing at all, really. I just thought he looked like a Tunnel Snake from the very moment I saw him, so now that is the only thing that the skin is to me. So serve up some of my sweet rolls, you corrupted chef. And maybe some crescent rolls as well for Wolfgang in his very own crescent costume here. Clothing that's unapologetically taking over his entire face and hands, but I really wouldn't worry about that too much, my big strong man. Simple, clean, and rather nice, honestly, as sometimes the small stuff is best, and it translates very well when he's both whippy and mighty, so bonus points there. Honestly, and I'm not just saying this because I'm biased towards the lunar content, the moonskins are winning out tonight, I feel. However, we can't actually call it without a fair fight, so last but certainly not least comes Walter the Crooked. Once more, it is a very straightforward design with not too much to talk about. However, it truly starts to shine once the new crooked cap also gets placed atop his noggin, so don't forget it. It could very well make the entire skin, in my opinion. And there you have it, really, folks. The six fresh faces and their entire ensembles on display for you to help pick and choose. And I'd say it was a pretty solid batch for sure. But we're not quite done with the new skins in this update yet. Scrolling towards the bottom of this official post here and clicking on the words, here's some points, grants us 1,200 coins, which just so happen to be enough to purchase a toilet. And no, I'm not kidding. Don't Stop Together has a real fountains of flush after today. So enjoy sitting on our new replica chair skins, everyone. <laughs> Believe it or not, we're still not done going on about some new dues as there's some new Twitch drops as well. 30 minutes of quote unquote watching a participating ambassador on Twitch, that's you the profile icon. An hour and a half into your viewing and not just muting will reward you the portrait frame here. And finally, a full three hours of waiting around with a linked account will get you the nouveau headpiece itself. Enjoy the colors and the swirls of the former two combined while feeling mighty protected against the world with the latter in mind. Spoiler alert, it's a Thule Sight crown skin, everyone. So go get it, and be sure to check the description and or pinned comment if you don't actually know how to go get it. As there you have it, everyone. Our final Terrors Below update video after nearly three weeks straight of content for the damn thing. And I don't know about you, I am happy to part ways with it until part three, so be sure to go check our previous releases for all the other information you might need. But thanks for watching it all, folks. Well, wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.